All right. So we have a negative x plus 3 in parentheses plus 2x minus 1 equals 6. And I'm going to say again, everyone watching from home, please simplify both sides. Simplify both sides. Because that will give you a negative 1. And I want you all to put a little negative 1 in front of that parenthesis because it's good practice. Because if this is just a distributive property, and just for a quick reminder of anyone that's forgotten, if you have a bag or parenthesis, it's kind of like a bag. So it's like having, say, say like let's say in here I had, say, you know, 2 plus 3. And let's say I put 10 outside of there. That's 10 of those two and threes. I mean, you could think of it like this. It's 10 times five, because two and three is five, which is 50, right? Another way to do it is say, look, if I've got 10 of these two plus three bags or two plus three, um, you know, it's like two plus three and then another one, another one of these two plus threes and another one of these two plus threes. And so like, I've got like 10 of these guys. That means I've got 10 twos, so 10 times two. And I've got 10 threes, and 10 times 2 is 20, 10 times 3 is 30, so I actually have 50, 50, so that's, uh, that's another way, right? Um, but the problem is when you have letters, of course, um, you can't, like, add the 2 and 3 together to get 5, so, like, like, if you have letters, like, say, A plus B, like, apple plus banana, you can't add them together, so, so if you had 7 times A plus B, that would be like seven bags, and in each bag there's an apple and a banana. You multiply that in, you get seven apples plus seven bananas. Right, so you can't add A and B together because they're not like terms. They don't make anything. Um, so anyway, just a quick reminder of the distributive property. But but when I have a, ne a negative on the outside, I'd like you all to change that to negative one, and then multiply the negative one in here and here. Because negative 1 times x is negative 1x. And negative 1 times positive 3 is negative 3. And by golly, when I grade tests, this is what a lot of students miss. I would say gosh, sometimes almost half of the students miss this. And I keep trying to go over it. So please take note. 2x minus 1 equals 6. Okay. And now we've got to add like terms. So there's a negative 1x and there's a positive 2x. Two good guys, one bad guy, and that makes one good guy, 1x. Are you okay with that? Yes. We're going too fast or slower here. Nope. There's a, and, and the next one would be a negative 4. Right, right. There's a negative 3 minus 1. It's like being in debt by $3, and then you subtract 1. Now you're in debt by 4. And, equals 6. Yeah. And to get x on its own, we're going to add this 4 here. We get x equals 6 and 4, 10. Right, that? 